Before we continue our um, sojourn through the world of pointers, let's just run that again. Uh, we need to cover another slightly related thing, or very related thing actually, called um, references. These are very, very similar. I just need to get rid of this stuff here. And um, just take one last look at that. Freeze the frame if you want to have a long look at it. I'm going to delete it now. Don't need any of this stuff now. Uh, references are slightly different. What they are is it's basically clones. You, you create an integer and then you can create any number of references to it. It's like uh, I can create, you know, um, somebody called Peter and then I can have lots of kind of aliases for Peter all gathered all around this, the world, but they're all actually Peter. Let me try and show you what I mean. So we'll have an integer, set it to a number, that's fine. So we can output that. Okay, let's give that, uh, let's execute that. So we get an integer is 42. It seems straightforward enough, but here's, here's, a, here's a little bit of magic. What I can also do now is I can say int and, and we'll have a reference to an integer and we'll set it equal to an integer. So this and this are the same thing. This is a special declaration of an int. We're saying we don't want an int, we want an int, a, ref, a reference. And we're going to call it the reference that to this int. So we're going to say, take the address of the thing we're about to refer to and give it that name. So it's it literally, it's, it's like sending in a deed poll to, um, it's like sending in a, a new name to a, to Facebook or YouTube or whatever. So you're saying, You've got a registered name on YouTube, Peter. Well, I'd like to take that Peter address and create something called Stephen there, which is also really Peter in disguise. And the notation is this and. Now, what am I talking about here? You've probably lost the will to live at this point. Well, let me just print out this, this thing here. We can treat it pretty much as if it's the original thing. Look, it's the same value. And every time we change this value, we change this value. So if I change Stephen, I change Peter. So let's change um, Stephen. So let's, uh, oh, sorry, let's change Peter. Let's, let's, we'll use a bit of flaky notation. What I could do is I could do this. But that's a bit boring. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use some funky C++ notation. And I'm going to say uh, 3. Now that the, both those things are equivalent to each other. So I'll just put a little comment here. They're both equivalent to each other. So now when I print out an int it should say 3 times 42, whatever that is, 126, I believe. Whee, look at my maths on the fly, eh? Uh, but also, if I reprint Stephen, who's really Peter in disguise, this will also be 126. And even better than that, if I change... If I change um, Stephen, if I need, and let's say I add on 10, and this is equal to 10, same thing, then have a look and see what happens now. That. Oh, don't look at that, it doesn't happen yet. We've added on 10 to both. So what we've created is we've created a kind of star cluster 
around this variable. We've got different names for the same variable. And you're thinking, what on earth? What on earth is the point of this? This is this is a nonsense. This this makes absolutely no sense to me or whatsoever. Okay. Now the reason we do this is often because it makes it faster to pass things to and from subroutines. So forgetting all of that stuff, start a new section. Use of references. Okay, let's set up two integers. We'll set up a first number, we'll make it equal to 42 again, obviously. We'll set up a second number. And let's make it equal to 69. I, I, I like that number for some vague reason. Okay, let's uh, let's print out both of these numbers. See what we get now. So, as we would expect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a crazy thing here. We're going to say max num, first num, second num. It was another favourite number, right? 99. Nice ice cream with a chocolate flake in it. And what, what we're going to say here is take first num into this subroutine and second numbers two parameters and whichever one of these two is the bigger set the bigger one to 99 so what I'm expecting is I'm expecting second num to go to 99 because this function is going to take that value and that value and return and change whichever notice these two variables have been created inside the scope of the main program they don't exist outside the main program but we're going to take we're going to figure it out from the references which one of these two is bigger and then set the bigger one to 99 it would probably better do the um, subroutine now this is where it all starts getting a bit hairy so later on after we finish this lesson for homework what I want you to do is I want you to go through this slowly until you understand it okay so we're going to declare a subroutine, but we're going to say it's not going to return an int or a void or a char. It's going to return a reference. And it's not going to take ints. I know we've called it with ints. We've called it with ints. But C++ is clever enough to go, ah, you want an alias to an int, actually. And what we'll do in here is if the first number is greater than the second number, then return the first number. Notice we're returning a reference to an integer. We're not returning an integer. And then what this is going to do down here is this is going to become a reference to an integer. And then that's going to be set to 99. And remember references to integers such as this thing here, are the same as the integer. Again, for homework, go through this slowly later and try to figure it out. Obviously, I need a, I need a default condition. So if the first number isn't bigger than the second number, then just return the second number. But remember, we're not returning the second number itself. We're returning a reference to the second number. So think of this line as being reference to some number is equal to 99. Because this is returning some reference to a number. 
It's either returning this reference or this reference, depending upon the condition. So that's why we would use... Let's get rid of that. Um, references. And this is fast, remember. We're going directly into memory. We're using keys. We're not sending around large lumps of money. We're sending around keys. We're not sending around a million dollars in a bag. We're sending a key to a box with a million dollars in it. Let's see if this does... <laughs> I hope it does what I said it's going to do. See that? Second number is 99 because it was the biggest one. Sorry. It was the biggest one there. So it's the one that gets changed here. And if we make these two the same. Again, it's the second one because we, we fall foul of the, the else condition. And if we make this one bigger. Should change the first uh, first number. There we are. It's changing the first number now because this one is bigger. So anyway, another thing to think about. Again, go through this slowly. Later on, sending a number. Remember that's an alias for a reference. We're we're kind of taking it into the subroutine as a as a reference. This subroutine is going to return a reference. Takes both those numbers, remember what your alias is, just like ref and int was. We're checking those two things and we're returning whichever one was bigger, remember they're both references. We're returning that to the calling program in main. So it's basically saying set one of these two things equal to 99 and I think that's probably enough to hurt anybody's head so let's uh, let's leave it there I will see you next time